of this sphere of this tram outside. Whoa. There's an enormous... Mm, okay. <laughs> so, let's see. Woo! <laughs> that was a nice move. First time I ever did the wave all by myself. myself. <laughs> We've already shuttled away one boulder. Okay, got ourselves a nice bridge. Oh, there's another one of these light bridge thingies. It should have turned on another light bridge, and it didn't. Bummer. I guess when you abandon machinery long enough, it's going to get out of adjustment. Hmm, speaking about adjustment... Just needs a little adjustment. Let's see. Yeah, working fine. And another light bridge. Nice! Now we have a little connection from here to there if I want to go from one spire to another. Mm -hmm. oh, mm. The way things have been going, I can pretty much bet that whatever that little beast just stole, I'm gonna want it really badly in a minute or two. The last time I was small enough to get into a cave that size, I was four years old. Hmm, well, we can pry up that hole. Sorry, friend, but your little house is about to get a big front door. That looks big enough to squeeze through. It's the critter's empty nest. It's the critter's empty nest. It's the critter's empty nest. Hmm, okay. Place for everything and everything in its place. A small round hole. A short metal dowel. That's a nice fit.
Scavengers have picked these ribs clean, but the animal can't have been dead very long because the rib cage is still holding together. Yeah, I see where this is getting on. If only I had some bait for this trap, but I'll just have to play sheepdog. Okay. Well, let's get this little critter moving. Just unidentifiable junk left by that critter. There's something moving in here. Okay. No, that was the wrong direction. Okay. We need to get it into this trap. Just unidentifiable junk left by that critter. A lot of useless junk collected by that little thief. A lot of useless junk collect. Just un. There's something moving in here. Coming from this angle. Here we go. Oh, come on. Gotcha. Now I've got you. If I let you out, you'll head for the place where you hide nice shiny machinery parts. The only trouble is, how am I gonna follow you? Hmm. Oh yeah, we have that spotting device with a bracelet. So, then, let him go. It's a small alien critter with an electronic collar. Mit dem kleinen Hunde als Band. Go, little creature. Roam free, wherever your thieving little heart desires. <laughs> so, now, let's see. It's got to be right under here. This is where the tracker's pointing. What if I hadn't brought this shovel along? <laughs> no, that's not worth thinking about. No, better not think about that. But that shovel has been pretty darn useful. The critter sure didn't like that. He took off down one of his tunnels. And there's the machine part. Now maybe I can get the door open. Nice. Oops. Come on here. Now with any luck, this will work. A thin metal plate with a button. Now let's get this thing closed up and see if it works. And push. Open sesame. Yes. Okay. Another one of these engraved sticks. Okay, this one's green. The scepter seems to have an electrical charge. Hmm. Silver scepter, gold scepter. Whoa. Oh my god, they have the power to move their moons? Okay. 
This might come in handy later. It's the ceiling of the dome. Is there anything else in here? No. It's a glowing blue rod. Hmm, glowing blue. Yeah, right. Like I'm gonna stick my hand in some crack in the rock on an alien planet. <laughs> yeah, Molly, you're just trying to get whatever you can in a point-click adventure, but not Boston Low. Yeah, right. <laughs> like I'm gonna stick my hand in some crack in the rock on an alien planet. As if. As if. Okay. Nothing more to be done here. But we have another door to be opened. Yeah, using <laughs> using the safe way this time. Okay. door which is not open. Alright, there's the alcove and a, and a sealed door. Okay, the other three are still missing. So that one's open. And that one is not open. Okay, that's the only one. So let's have a look. Red. Stupid. There it is. And blue. Yeah, this one blue. Let's see if we can pry the cover off. That's it. Oh, we 
we still have this electrical wire. Good for us. Let's see if we can get something flowing from this broken conduit on the floor. If I don't electrocute myself in the process. I should have been an electrician. <laughs> Then you wouldn't have landed here. Thanks. Whoa, this looks pretty wasted. Okay. Just shows me which all of it is. Amazing map system. You don't even have to refold it when you're done. Hmm. Okay, but a map won't really do me any good. Looks like the warranty must have run out on this light bridge. Adjusting the lens. Just needs a little adjustment. No. Okay, so maybe it needs a little more adjustment. Oh, 
it's getting more substance. Have a look at that. It's hard to see anything. So it's not I think only, I can make out some kind of shape. It looks as if it's not only just a sort of bridge system from one of the outer spires to another. There seems to be something else. Oh, the map spire, okay. Well, let's see what we can do with all the other panels. Let's do this one. That's red, green, blue, blue. Green cube. And then blue cubes. importance here. This. Oh, sorry, my mistake. My bad. Let's see if we can get this this train moving, this other tram, the one tram that just wasn't coming. It won't accomplish anything. Mm -hmm. Now have a look at that. Yeah, because one of the crystals is dead. All the other trams are working quite nicely, just this one doesn't. Okay, this makes it... Okay. A little brighter. A little brighter. Oh, good. Nice. And there it goes. So the question now is which one was it? <laughs> I think it was that one. Oh, no, the planetarium? Planetarium tram. No, that, that one worked. I think it was the other way around. Behind that one. Yeah, there's still an open door and we don't know where it leads to. So yeah, that was the one that didn't work. Should be working now. Yes. I'd really love to have a look inside this interior. <laughs> I really wonder how it works. I mean, if you really get shaken through or if there's some sort of anti-gravity field inside the cube, uh, inside the other spheres, so that you just don't get chicken. <laughs> it rolls around. The 
This is so fantastic. It looks so awesome. Let's see, we have a museum spire, a planetarium spire, a map spire. So let us see what this one is. Okay. Large moon, small moon. Mm -hmm. Those those were the moons I were able I was able to move inside the planetarium. I can't move this thing with my bare hands. It's half buried in dirt and rubble. Hmm. Let's see if this plate can be moved. Oh, this sh I love this shovel. <laughs> I should give it a name. It's just become my best friend. Could this be some sort of burial chamber? Oh, the burial chamber from the museum. It's a roughly carved hole in the wall. What purpose could this have had? Hmm. It won't do anything. It won't do anything. It won't accomplish anything. Oh, maybe need some energy? Oh yeah. There's light seeping through from outside. If only I could see better. There's more light falling into the tomb. Mm, we'll see that later. Oh, another light bridge. And it's broken again. Another broken light bridge. Well, let's adjust the lens. Just needs a little adjustment. Another broken light bridge. Okay, so maybe it needs a little more adjustment. Another broken light bridge. It still doesn't work. Must be something wrong inside the control panel. Okay, let's have a look at that. So this is what's in the guts of these machines. Okay. Okay, need to get, okay. Okay, it only okay, it only ranges two. So I think this should work like that. No. Okay, so there's the green one. That doesn't work out as well. So
how it hits, but I think it must go over all of these parts. Yeah, that, that should do the trick. That's red, that's green, and that's Pretty weird. impressive for someone who never took a class in alien physics. <clears throat> Just another went. broken light bridge. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, throw it away, burn it. There it is. Four of five. Pretty impressive. Okay. What is that? Do? Oh, there. There's some light. Okay, this this seems to be some light from one spire to another. And these are the moons. These are the moons falling through this hole. Yeah. These are these two moons falling through this hole, so I have to adjust the moons. <laughs> oh man. I have to adjust the moons so that they will shine through this part of the hole. Okay. Here you are, Brink. Oh, Brink. You haven't been answering. I was busy. Trying to concentrate on my work. I don't have time for interruptions. In other words, you want me to go away. <laughs> Those are the right words. <laughs> go away. machine. Oh, you can't. I'm worried that these life crystals may have side effects. The only side effect is the envy of people who haven't used them. Oh, okay. He's definitely have you insane. used more of them? Their effect on health and intelligence increases with each use. Oh, of course. What about their effect on sanity? <laughs> These life crystals are the most important technology ever created. And they I are the answer it. to everything. Oh, yeah. Maggie's work on data retrieval is going well. Then go talk to Maggie about it. Okay, he's not really in the mood for talking. Thanks. Well, then let's. I'll just say we arrange these moons. And oh, wait, we can use the shortcut. So where is the planetar planetarium spike? Woo! Run! <laughs> okay. Nope, look to the cave. Yeah, maybe we can use this. Metal rod. Maybe we can... This uh, thing will be some use. Okay, so let's have a look at the moon map. It depicts a planet and its moons. Perhaps it's this planet. Well, almost certainly it. It depicts a planet okay. and its moons. Perhaps it's this planet. So I'm going with this one. So the moon was a bit too far to the right as well as the other moon. So maybe... Okay, moving. So I think maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe over here. And then we need to get this moon. I think it, it was it was totally in this one's shadow. So, no no no. Oh yeah, there it is. Nice. Oh, that little 
critter again. No! Why is that door closing? He didn't steal that part again, did he? I'm trapped in here? Oh, I think there's a switch. Yeah. Ha! The controls still work on this side. So then let's get back to the tomb. And see if something more is happening. Not the map by the tomb spire. Now we've got some decent lighting. Whoa, the stone is loose. Hmm. Okay, now it closes. Deadman switch. What a convenient way to open the skylight. <laughs> yeah, so we have to we have to like make it stuck with something. That should hold it. Good. Okay, let's go outside. Oh there it is. Some dirt. There's something smooth under the dirt. A lens. Light must pass through it down into. Mm. Mm. So that's how these aliens look like. I worry this statue is life sized. I hope I don't get kicked out for destroying the exhibit. Well, Brink has other things to do. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Something about this old relic must have been important. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Something about this old relic must have been important. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe we should ask Frank about it. If he's in the mood for talking. you're doing right now Brink but those ghosts had things they wanted us to do and we need to get home and you're not doing either one what I'm doing is more important but I'll never accomplish anything while I have incessant interruptions hmm. thanks It won't accomplish anything. I can't use these two things together. Robbins, this is low. Do you read? Robbins here. I read you. Hmm. How are you doing with your data retrieval? I'm retrieving. I'm just not understanding. But you're pretty sure it's their language. I don't know. Just like the museum you found, I think okay. this library was meant to be used by lots of different species. I think this language may have been especially designed to be easy to translate. 
If it's easy, why is it taking so long? It's easy compared to translating a genuinely alien language that you've never heard spoken aloud. Give me a break, Boston. I think I've got a handle on a couple of the symbols, but I have to test it out and see if it makes sense. I'm thinking that maybe we should consider teaming up again. Why? I think the answer to getting home is here in these displays. You go out and explore like you have been, and I'll work at getting us home. When I figure it out, I'll take you with me. No charge. Thanks. So, well, maybe we should try to get some more information from the museum spot here. Since... It has been the first time we saw something about this burial chamber. I think, was it that one or that one? It might have been that one. I think it was that one. So yeah, they put it, they put him on the moon spire. Yeah, the two moons. The larger moon is being eclipsed by the smaller one. Canister. Yeah, this is this is the starship. This is the center island. There we have the, Yeah, there we have the inhabitants and some visitors. And then we have them taking them down to somewhere. Hmm. Maybe that 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 might be an awesome. Maybe we should use the map spire and see if there's something special to it. So which one was it? I think it was the red one. Red and blue? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> we already have it. The correct shape. So this one and then blue. This one blue. And no. So there is more to that crypt than I first thought. Nice. So let's get back to the um, tomb spire. Yeah, there's the way leading downwards. Now that I know what I'm looking for, maybe I can get this slab out of the way. Thank you. 
Guard dog. Oh, now suddenly we've got guard dogs. Where did he come from, anyway? The ugly twins. <laughs> <clears throat> Whoa. Okay. Well, have a look. That at worked out rather well. Have a look at how aggressive they became. Once I've used these crystals on them. Whoa. So what is that? A slot. A life crystal fell from this slot and resurrected that guardian creature. Can't get it open. Well, there's only one rod left. What do you know? The door evaporated when the engraving touched the slot. This is the engraving we found in the shipwreck. The one the first ghost gave us. This must be where the ghost wanted us to come all along. <laughs> 